so hi everybody i'll be doing the viva virtual alternative assessment one okay and it is about number systems all right so um i was given like two tasks to um uh never mind and these two tasks involve binary numbers now what are binary numbers so um this is what i know about binary numbers first Binary numbers are numbers represented, I mean, binary numbers are numbers represented by 1 and 0, you know? Okay, so, you can go Google and search, they'll tell you it's a base 2 number system. And what is a base 2 number system? Base 2 number systems are basically just, you know, decimal systems is just normal numbers. Yeah, so base 2 is actually similar to binary numbers it's also numbers represented by one and zero okay so that's what base two number system is all right okay so here are some examples of binary number example two is one zero you don't read it as ten you read it as one zero you read it separately you don't read it together okay three is one one four is one zero one five is one one zero six is one 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 and of course so on and so forth all right now um i was given the two tasks that's what i said so let's see what the first task is okay so this is the first task at the last five digit of my nric number uh of course i'm not gonna review every single thing i only review the last five digits and also i will not review the last so this is my half reviewed NRIC number. So the number that we are looking out for is this number. Okay? So we are looking out for these numbers, which is 33895. Alright? So of course you will have to add it all together. Okay? This is um that's the number. I use this number. Then I like add it all together. So 3 plus 3 plus 8 plus 9 plus 5 would be, okay, um, if you are going to a mental calculation, then you don't really have to do working. But since my mental calculations is not very good, so I've done it step by step, you know, order of operation, left to right, okay? So after that, your answer would be 28. Now, to convert 28 to a binary number, it is very simple. I found this method online and it is um it's um it is like involves eight lines but I don't know what is it called so I just call it eight lines because there's eight lines. Right and this is the, the method. Okay, so I have these numbers one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four and one to eight. Now you ask um now you might be wondering where i got these numbers from now of course you know from the word binary from the word bi you know like bicycle is two wheels so bi means two easy okay so now how i get these numbers is actually pretty simple so secret review actually it's not secret okay it's actually this number is 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and so on and so forth. And yeah, and 1 to 8 is 2 to the power of 7. Okay, now, yeah. Remember how I get these numbers? Good. Okay, now I'll be teaching you how to do the 8 line method. Or so is it called? Okay. Now, um, this number is so big it can't fit into this if you don't get what i be here's a as um how i put it simpler for you okay let's say there are two boxes one is size 28 the other is size 1 to 8 all right and you can't put this inside here because this is too big right so if the number is too big and can't fit inside the number over here then you put a zero simple Okay, so yeah, but if the number is like small enough, then you 
can actually just put a one. Like, okay, this is too big, this is still too big, and 16, um, it can be fixed, right? Because it's small enough to go inside. So, you put a one. Alright? Then you minus. Alright, so after that you get a 12. Can 8 fit into 12? Yes! So put another one. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Am I? Okay, then you get a 4. Am I right? 4, you can put inside 4. It's just right anyway. So it's just a 1. And then after that. Now I get a 0. And of course the rest cannot fit into a 0. So you put 0. So actually, this number that you got here, starting from the 1, so you can actually remove this if it is confusing you. And this is your answer. So this is task number 1. Add the last 5 digits of my NRIC number and convert it to a binary system. So this is task number 1, okay? So I'll just put it aside because this number is known as number XX and it's made up from task 2. Okay, so I'll just put this aside. This number, like around here, maybe? Somewhere where you can see and I'm not blocking you. Alright, so um, the next one is actually um, my birth date. Alright, so you know you have the date, the month, and the year, right? Then you slash across, right? Okay, so now this is not needed. And of course, I won't reveal it to you. So I only can reveal this. And this is the number we need. And it's for the task. Also known as number YY. Or YY number. So uh, actually, I can remove some lines. So I can easily just draw six lines. Because the other two lines is redundant. And yeah. Because it's like already too big and it doesn't make sense to add in and also it's like wasting your marker or pen in. And also I see. Yeah. You don't even need the actually five lines is enough because you will know. <laughs> Not revealing a secret to you. Anyways, um so this can fit into this and then you minus. No zero. Okay, then this will put a one. Then this is zero, right? So obviously the rest will all be zero. So actually I tell you the other numbers are all redundant. I mean the other lines, alright? Mm, so I'll like put this to the side. Um over there. Over here. Okay. How is this talking so slowly? Um I guess it's too big. Okay. Now, I have to do something. Yeah, I know I'm cheating. But I don't have any colors, so. Um, now, wait. Four. 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 I guess I wasn't paying attention to my own working. Yes, I was. Just that I'm forgetful. Uh, so I can erase out. Okay, um, now. I'll be solving this. Now there is two methods. The first method is the just working like that. And the second method, which is the one I invented. I don't know whether is it out there already. But I'll show you later. I don't know what is it called. I haven't named it yet. So I'll be putting like boxes here. Okay. Okay, so I'll just put it into two. First one says method one. Second one says method two. Okay? Then of course method two is uh, online. Okay? So let's start with method one, the online method, which I found online. That's why it's online method. Um so yeah. It's just like that. Um Okay, so you just add normally. I think when it comes to here, 1 plus 1, um, it will get a 2. Now, if you recall just now, I gave you an example. The examples are, are when I explain what is binary numbers. So,
So this is one of the examples of very first example. It is this. 2 is equal to 1, 0. Of course, 2 is a binary, I mean, it's a decimal system, which is a normal number. And this is a base 2, which is the binary system. Alright, this is 1, 0. So, since 1 plus 1 is 2 here, then 2 in the binary system, or base 2, would be 1, 0. And this is your answer. But, uh, I don't think this is always right. Wait, it's always right because it's from online. And whatever's online is always right. Okay? So now I'll show you method 2, which is my method. Okay? So it is like that. You use 28 plus 16, the two numbers given to you, and then you just plus them together, and then you convert this number into a binary number, which is even easier, okay? So I can like remove some lines because they are also redundant and not edit, so you can have six lines. Please. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I can stop here actually. Hmm. Something's wrong. Okay, I see something wrong. See, you must learn from your mistakes. Okay, I got it right now. I'm not. <laughs> okay, so 32 can fit into 44, right? I'm going to change my marker color because it's going to be very confusing. No, actually, it's not very confusing, but if the same color and same color, it will be look like it's blended together. So I'll just like write this down. I'll just add this. Okay, so um, 44 minus 32. And of course, here we get a 1. And 44 minus 32 is 12. And then this will get a 0 because it's too big. And then, oh, I'm rushing a little bit. I'm so sorry. So 1, and then 4 again, 1. And then you have a 0 here. So the rest will be 0. And this is the answer. So if you see, the answer for here, and the answer for here, hi. Okay. So that means, this answer that I had got, gotten, is correct. So, this is what I will write here. And of course, for task 2, which is this one that I'm doing now, all I need to do is explain how I do this arithmetic uh, operation. Yep. And of course, task 1. Okay, I know my handwriting is a bit um, ugly. Because, yeah, it's not so. Okay, just write nice little bit, okay? So, for task 1, the answer was 628, which is the XX number. Okay, I won't, I won't confuse you with XX number. Okay, and then for task 2, task 2 is the one that I did here. How I got the answer, okay? Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Hold on. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.